I've been waiting a while for this, so I figured I might as well show it in a video in case you need something similar. This is the Creality 40 watt laser engraver cutter. The reason I got this is not only to engrave like logos and stuff on pieces of material, but also to cut really thin stainless steel. I use that to fabricate like jet nozzles and other things. And I usually cut it on the water jet, but when it's really, really thin like that, it's just easier to cut with a laser. And what I really like about this is it's a tabletop gantry style laser, so I can pull it out put it on top of a large piece of material or even a small part and either engrave or cut that material versus the other type of laser where I have to put the parts inside and they have to fit inside that box. This is a gantry style, so I don't have to worry about that. And Creality, from what I remember, is the company that made 3D printing affordable back in the day. I remember the 3D printers being really expensive and they had one of the first 3D printers that was affordable and it actually worked. At least that's what I remember. I could be wrong. Previously, these fiber lasers have been way out of my price range and I think they're trying to do something similar here because the price is really good so I'm just gonna set this up on camera show you how it works and then I'm gonna try to make that really colorful stainless steel butterfly that I see them using in their marketing a lot I want to see if I can make that let's get this thing out of the box set it up and see how it works bouncy I already like it because it's super simple And that's about it, just like that. It's all set up, it came with pretty much everything. A USB cable, power adapter, the air pump. Also came with a little tool kit, the micro SD card reader for USB-A and USB-C, as well as some sample materials. A few sets of legs to raise it up to different height levels. Also came with this stainless steel plate to protect whatever's underneath. But I'm not gonna need that for my first test, so I'm just gonna leave this set up right here on the table, set up light burn on the computer. For my first test, I'm just going to engrave my channel logo right onto this tabletop. And then we're gonna set it to maximum speed of 25,000 millimeters a minute. All right, let's go! Maximum speed, baby! All right, I stopped it because I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe a new logo was born, but I really don't like it. I think the frame moved because the laser is just moving too fast. I'm going to put a couple sandbags on it and try it again. I'm all done with that test and as you can see, it came out pretty good except for that glitch there. But I'm bored of my logo. So for this next test, I still have Danny Duncan's logo of his face left over from when I built him the Jet Power Go-Kart. <laughs> I'm gonna load that up into my computer and not only print that out on a piece of plywood, but also cut it out. Maybe I'll mail it to him or something. I wanted to do this on a piece of three-quarter plywood. I just couldn't find any scraps, but I do have this half-inch plywood left over from a shipping container. So I'm gonna put this in a laser, set the speed, let's go. That came out pretty good. Nice clean cut all the way through. On to the next test, which I'm most excited about, stainless steel sheet. I'm gonna leave the wood in here and just try to cut a piece of stainless out of this long strip. Let's see if it can. I'm gonna set it to 2,000 millimeters a minute and 100% power. Let's give it a shot. All that did was make a dent. I'm gonna go all the way up to one millimeter per minute and 100% power. All right, I think that's just way too slow. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. That was at 50 millimeters a minute, 100% power. It kind of cut through, but it's still attached on that side. I don't know, I could probably go slower. Let's break this off. Doesn't look the cleanest, but it cuts it. I don't really think this compares to the water jet because the water jet is super, super smooth, but well, I guess it cuts it. I mean, big price difference, right? The water jet's like 30,000. This is 16, 1300. After trying to cut that stainless steel, it's giving me some alarms. One of them is lens. I'm assuming that means the lens is dirty. Maybe that's because the wood was burning up. I'm not really sure. I'll clean the lens and then I'm gonna try to make the butterfly.
Well, that didn't quite work out. I don't know what happened there. I mean, what a mess. I'm gonna finish this off with the snips because And this is uh, my butterfly. Doesn't it look beautiful? <laughs> well, at least I can see that the colors are possible. So I'm pretty sure if I invest a month or two of my time experimenting back and forth, I could probably get it right. I don't really know what happened with the warping. Maybe I needed some time in between each pass. This is the exact thickness that they recommend for this. So I'm not really sure. It just got hot, it warped. I won't be doing this again because this took about four hours. No butterflies in my life. If you make this, let me know, because I am curious to see if this butterfly can actually be made the way that they show it. Right after that, I wanted to do one more test for fun. I loaded a two by four in the laser and tried to cut it. And again, this is all about the settings, trial and error. Fire, fire, fire. This was my most successful outcome of all the cuts. The one previous to this caught on fire and the laser shut off, which was a pretty good feature that it sensed the fire and shut the laser off versus burning my whole shop down. I definitely wouldn't leave this machine unattended, especially when you're cutting wood. And again, I'm pretty sure if I mess with these settings and find the exact setting that I need, but at least I see it is possible. I mean, I cut through a two by four. Overall, I think the laser works great. Totally worth the money. I'm gonna be using this a lot here in my shop. And my favorite were the Danny Duncan pendants right here. I really like how the text looks in the back. I'm gonna color this in and send these to him. I think it'll be funny when these show up at his house. But the butterfly was a disappointment. I was really looking forward to this. And like I said, it took about four hours and I'm sure with some trial and error, I could get it right or maybe vary the thickness of the metal. I mean, it, it would take time to get this to look exactly how it looks in the ads, unless I'm doing something wrong. I am gonna contact the company and ask them for some sort of discount code or something. If I do get that, it will be in the description below. No pressure, but if you're gonna buy it, why not save money? But my idea here was just to pull this out, set it up, show you what it can or can't do, and I think I accomplished that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And make sure you use these glasses that come with the laser because, man, that laser hurts your eyes.